Then we continue. So I will present to you our activities at the IAA on computational tools for nuclear reactor analysis. And also, I would like to welcome you to this workshop, all of you here, and also our large online uh, audience. So as you already seen this slide, so I will just skim through it, that uh, in the technology development, we're looking at the knowledge sharing, technology development and capacity building. And here is a good overview of our activities um, uh, in a fast uh, reactor technology development year, uh, development team in the year 2022 and 2023. And uh, the ones that you can see in red are in a way related to the computational tools and simulation tools for reactor analysis. So we had a, a very great technical meeting on development an application of open source modeling and simulation tools for nuclear reactors last year in June. We had a very large international conference on fast reactor and related fuel cycles where um, many authors submitted papers and presented papers where they use open source tools. We are currently developing uh, a basic principle simulator for sodium fast cooled reactors. And we also had a variety of training courses and workshops such as webinar series on multi-physics modeling of nuclear reactors using open foam and of course, this great workshop this week. I will talk a little bit more in detail about this just in a minute. But I would like to introduce you to Encore Initiative because this workshop really is within the framework of this initiative. So Encore stands for Open Source Nuclear Courts for Reactor Analysis and it is an initiative. It's an IAA facilitated international collaboration framework uh, with the aim to develop uh, the applications of open source uh, software in order to support research, education and training in a field of nuclear science and engineering, which encompasses also fission and fusion. Uh, we invite institutions and individuals to participate in this initiative and to collaborate and benefit from this development of open source software in the field of nuclear science and technology. The objective of this initiative is to build and preserve knowledge in the field of open source software and open access data, and to facilitate this exchange of information within our community for nuclear science and technology. Also to uh, conduct a survey of all the existing open source software, open uh, data, and to aid make these uh, accessible. To identify the best practices for the open source software development, verification and validation. Uh, to access the features, gaps, and opportunities for integration of already developed and available open source software, and to facilitate the sharing of all this about the reference solution, the benchmark problems, the data. To organize various education and training activities and to promote a variety of these individual tools uh, also for education and research environments. And of course, we promote this initiative and we broaden the engagement among the IA member states. We would like to have more and more of the IA member states engage in this initiative. And who is helping us in this uh, Encore initiative is our Encore expert group, uh, of which many members are here today with us as lecturers. Um, they help us to identify the new activities and benchmarks and give us the good overview of the available open source software and, and data and promotes these worldwide. So here is the IA website on Encore. And if you click on members area, you will get to this side where you can find the description and also the list of codes. And this list of codes is a really great summary of all the open source um, codes available for variety, such as for neutronics, uh, thermal hydraulics, processing, etc. If you're interested in a uh, high temperature gas reactor code package, uh, this, is, um, this is under the IAA. So if you would like to have access, then you can just fill out this form and we will give you access to this package. So as I mentioned, this platform, we have over 35 open source tools covering really a variety and these two tools uh, hosted and distributed by Encore, such as VSOP and Stacy. 
So please do not hesitate to have a look at this page, have a look at the codes if you're interested and reach out. You can also, if you're developing your own code, uh, open source code, you can also reach out to us if you would like to have this shared on the platform and we can evaluate its completion and then, and, and then share this as well. As Vladimir already mentioned, uh, this Encore initiative, so the IAEA was uh, designated the EPFL in Switzerland as the collaborating center in order to support the member states in increasing their modeling and simulation capabilities in the field of advanced reactors. Carlo was uh, the focal point for this uh, collaborating center until last year and now Alessandro took over. I will just give you also a brief overview of the major past events uh, related to this Encore initiative. As I mentioned last year, we had a technical meeting and also last year, August to October, we had a really great webinar series on multiphysics modeling of reactor analysis using open foam. And, and this year we have this workshop. So this technical meeting, the objective was to share and discuss the recent developments in the area of multiphysics modeling and simulation using the open source software and open access data. And as goes for the Encore initiative, this was to support research and development, education and training in uh, the community of nuclear science and technology. This technical meeting involved also various live workshops on several tools. Um, OpenMC we already had, we had Open Foam, so basically like this week, but we also have Moose and Army. Um, so participants presented their work, uh, their papers, and then we have um, collected basically what was presented in this meeting, ranging from motivation, experiences, challenges, best practices, advanced applications, and a really a good overview of all these open source tools. And uh, with the aid of these experts who were involved in a technical meeting, we're putting together a technical report series publication, which will be open to all, uh, publicly available, and we expect to release this in 2024. So maybe in, uh, in Q4 2023, sorry, and you may see an email from us because uh, promoting this technical report series. Here is just a brief overview of sort of what was discussed during this, this technical meeting. Uh, we have touched upon the motivations and challenges of open source software, such as from the user perspective, um, from the developer perspective, uh, various challenges such as switching from an established commercial code to the new open source, what is the time investment, uh, how to do the quality assurance if you have a single group developer, uh, how do you, if you have really reliance on this single group um, or a single expert, how to do the best practices, what would be the advice of the, of the experts such as use the version control, use of automated continuous integration for quality assurance, really uh, making sure the documentation is up to date, that there are tutorials and startups to encourage um, the audience and to, to use these codes. And also, of course, uh, the role of open source software in education and training and how to invite more people to use these open source codes and provide this adequate training uh, in the use of various softwares to help uh, grow the number of skilled users. And here we already do that by webinars, workshops, um, tutorials, and uh, online courses. Which brings me to the webinar series of on multiphysics modeling of nuclear reactors using open foam. So open foam will be introduced very briefly, so I will not go into detail, but just to let you know that this webinar series really provided the audience with up-to-date information about the possibilities provided by open foam and also the family of codes uh, based for open foam, and the strengths and challenges, practical guidelines, but it's also more of like a general introduction for your own further learning. Um, and these were 12 lectures over the course of six weeks, which covered the, the basis of open foam, the problem definition, geometry and mesh generation, um, source code, and then various tools. Some of them will be also covered this week, such as containment foam, gen foam, off-bit and genrom. And I would like to invite you because these recordings of all these lectures, the slides are all available, all available under this link. Um, they will be available for still a long time. And also uh, there were a few lectures on hands-on exercise. So the lectures were showing how to approach the problems. So it's not just lectures, but also some hands-on exercises.
As you know, this workshop this week is our, our third big event in an open core, initi uh, on core initiative. And uh, as Vladimir already mentioned, we will cover open foam, gen foam, offbeat containment foam, these codes in, uh, related to, to open foam, and also, of course, open MC, army, and open foam for fusion. One of the outputs uh, related also to, to Encore is a uh, Neutronic benchmark of CFR Startup Test Training Core Series, which uh, will be available also this year. And this Training Core Series is, is a great Encore related output from this uh, coordinated research project because uh, it shows uh, how to perform Monte Carlo simulations with two tools, uh, Serpent to, and OpenMC. And it's really a very comprehensive and detailed uh, training course series on how to approach modeling of the core of the fast reactor. Um, it is intended for students, also early career engineers. You don't have to have a very um, high knowledge of, of uh, computational tools and simulations, but it's really very much in detail. Uh, I will just give you a sneak peek here. Uh, as you can see, so you have the CFR core and then how to really discretize up to the pins, how to model that, how to, you, how to really prepare your data, uh, how to do it for deterministic versus Monte Carlo tools and uh, how to really make the OpenMC input in the same way, how to do the Serpent input. And then you will have here the real experimental data from the CFR uh, reactor and uh, with the two tools, which, which is really what, what uh, results do you get in the comparison? So this is just for um, one example, but there are three. Uh, this was developed with uh, experts. One of them is uh, Jivon here. So she will also probably show you, this will be uh, related to the CFR core um, modeling that we will do on Tuesday. Um, lastly, I would just like to also promote our sodium properties calculator. This was developed uh, after we had a coordinated research project on sodium properties, it's a very comprehensive literature review of all the properties ever published on, on sodium. And this was then put here online and, and you can uh, look up various properties and, and calculate several properties. So all these references are put here. This is also uh, open to all. This is also widely accessible. So if this is something of interest to you, please do not hesitate. This is online. Uh, lastly, our educational simulator for a sodium cooled fast reactor. Uh, this was developed uh, in the past years. It's a very real uh, simulator. It's for education and training. We would like to distribute this year. We are just finalizing the exercise manual. But uh, if this is also something uh, of interest to you, please do not hesitate to, to email us. We can distribute. Thank you very much. This was the overview for the Encore Initiative uh, under which this uh, course, this workshop is this week. And with that, I will pass the word to our expert to teach you guys on open phone. <laughs>